Hey, how's it going guys? So I have this really cool live wallpaper that uh, I ended up putting on my computer that I wanted to show you guys how to do it yourselves. Um, and it's frost for all you Rainbow Six uh, people out there. So this is going to be perfect for you guys. And also this is cool for anybody else that just wants a really cool wallpaper. This is a very basic one that I'm going to show you how to do if you want to learn how to start doing live wallpapers. Um, it's really easy to do. It's going to take us a couple minutes to walk through it, but um, you don't, it, it's all free to do. There's no like programs that you have to pay for or anything. So we're going to get into it real quick here. So first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to get a program called Rain Meter. Uh, Rain Meter is free to download. Um, Rainmeter.net, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you also, just so it's easier for you. And then just download the final uh, version right here. Um, you can also mirror it if you want to. It'll probably be faster if you do that mirror. But download it, install it onto your desktop. Um, and then you're also going to need a skin for Rain Meter, which is like the visual effect. So skins for Rain Meter are anything that's visual effect related. Um, so like clocks, uh, music visualizer, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of them you can find on DeviantArt. Um, and I've got one picked out right here that'll work perfect for us. There's other ones that you can use, um, but this one is really realistic and I like it a lot. So this is the one that I'm gonna have us use. Download it right up here, also free to download. Um, I'm gonna leave a link for this one in the description as well for you guys to do. So once you have that downloaded, I'm gonna show you how to install it. So once you get Rainmeter installed and you have that file of the skin on your computer, you're gonna open up Rainmeter. So when you open up Rainmeter, you're gonna have some folders right up here. Now these folders are going to look different than they do on mine because you're gonna have the default ones. These are all skins that I've uh, put into my program for me to use. Um, the only one I actually have running is Icy Storm for this wallpaper. Um, but basically you can uh, click on any of the ones that you already have in there and go to open folder. Now, this will take you to um, the location of wherever this file is for that preloaded skin um, and all you're gonna do is go back to skins now that file that you downloaded for the skin is gonna look like one of these so these are all different skins that I have installed on my computer um, mine are just in a different place than yours now to install one all you have to do is double click on the file and it'll automatically install it for you so like the monster cat visualizer for example I don't have it installed as you can see, and then I could hit that install button right there and it would install it in here for me, but I don't want the monster cat visualizer right now, so I'm gonna skip on that. But that's really all you have to do for that. Now, next, we're gonna have to do a little bit of editing in the config for this, just because um, we're gonna make, make it act a little bit differently than the default. So if you open it up and go to the INI file, you're just gonna go ahead and right click on it and hit edit. Now it's gonna open this up in Notepad for you. You can use Notepad++ if you want, but in this particular situation, it's totally fine and easy to use Notepad, just the basic one on your PC that's already installed. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the variables in this and you're gonna change whichever ones are different than mine, and it'll give you the same exact effect that you're seeing on my computer. So we're gonna go down here to variables. It's not too far down and we're gonna walk through this together. Um, so, Total screen area, that should be default for you. Um, number of snowflakes, that's already default for you as well. Uh, 60 is the max. Um, and then you're gonna keep going down a little bit. Now, simple particle variables. Now, this should also be default for you. This should also be default for you. Now, specific variables is where we're gonna start probably changing some stuff for you. Uh, minimum and maximum transparency, you're gonna change to minimum is 500 and maximum 700. Now, size range, you're gonna to change to eight and 36. Minimum fall speed and maximum fall speed, you're gonna change minimum to two and maximum to four. Now we're gonna go down here to the sway. You're gonna change the minimum sway to 15 and you're gonna change the maximum sway to 35. Now, we're gonna go down to sway time, 100 for the minimum, maximum for the 300. Minimum wind speed, negative, is very important here. We're gonna do negative so it's flowing in the same direction as the image snow that's already um, on there. Because uh, otherwise it's gonna be flowing to the right for you and it's gonna look a little bit off if you don't put that negative there. So you're gonna put 
negative 0.1 for the minimum and negative 4 for the max. Now we're going to uh, keep scrolling down. All of this should still be default for you. Uh, Reroll chance should be 20. Win type should be 0. Uh, all this debug stuff, don't even mess with it. Um, font color, obviously don't change anything. Um, snowflake config, all of that should still be default. All should be 50 except for the X. Um, keep going down and yeah, I believe that's all the variables that we have to change. Um, let me just double check that I didn't do anything else down here. Yeah, and that's it. This is all just the snowflakes in the, that are preloaded in. So that's all you have to do and you're done and you have this rock and wallpaper here. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, isn't this going to like eat up my computer uh, and just really be demanding on it? It's not at all. It's very, very um, easy to just run in the background, even when you're gaming, doing other stuff. It doesn't take up any uh, anything, so it's really easy on computers. It's not demanding at all, so you don't have to worry about that. You can let it run 24-7. Even with the music visualizers and when you're doing some crazy stuff on it, it's really, really low maintenance. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this worked out for you. I hope you're kind of getting a liking for like the live wallpapers. If you guys haven't seen my uh, live Tomb Raider one for the uh, new Tomb Raider, that one's really cool. Go check that one out. Uh, I walk you through how to make that one too. It actually uses the same particle effect skin, um, just with more different config files and it looks more like a dust particle effect for that one. So go check that one out if you guys haven't checked that one out. And I'll see you guys next time uh, on my next live wallpaper tutorial.